start off by saying public safety, it's all about collaboration. And I want to thank our law enforcement partners, including those joining me today. I'm here with members of the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office and the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. San Mateo County Sheriff Carlos G. Bolanos is with us here today. You'll hear from him shortly. San Mateo County Assistant District Attorney Shin Mi Chang is with us as well. Their agencies and others played an important role in the retail theft case we'll be speaking about today. And I'd like to acknowledge their critical public safety efforts. I'd also like to thank my team, instrumental in this case. Thank you to the DOJ's entire special prosecutions section, including Deputy Attorney General Asil Mahmoud, Deputy Attorney General Matthew Taylor, as well as the Division of Law Enforcement's White Collar Investigation Team. Smash and grabs, luxury store shakedowns, the pillaging of department stores. The organized retail theft we're seeing throughout the country and in California, it's unacceptable, let's be clear. And it's important to note that the illegal activity doesn't stop after the initial theft. Organized criminals resell their stolen goods and in many cases use the money to fund additional illicit activity, including organized crime, human trafficking, for example. Those who break the law and peddle stolen goods, they will be held accountable. And today, they are. I'm here this morning to announce the sentencing of multiple individuals involved in what we believe to be one of the largest retail theft busts in California history. Today, we are announcing that five defendants involved in a multi-million dollar retail theft scheme targeting Bay Area retailers have pleaded guilty to felony charges, including conspiracy to commit organized retail theft. The lead defendant, Danny Luis Drago, is scheduled to be sentenced to six years in state prison early next year. He and members of his crime ring have pleaded guilty to felony charges, including conspiracy to commit organized retail theft, receiving stolen property, money laundering, and a special allegation of the aggravated white collar enhancement of over half a million dollars. In addition to Mr. Drago, his co-conspirators have also pleaded guilty to various, again, felony charges. Their names are Edgar Giovanni Robles Morales, Isis Vasquez Villanueva, Jose Villatoro, and Michelle Renee Fowler. Organized retail theft is illegal. Let's be absolutely clear about that. It is serious, and there are, as we see today, serious consequences. The lead defendant organized what we believe is one of the largest retail theft rings to have ever been busted in state history. His arrest and the arrest of his partners followed a joint investigation by our, uh, by our white collar investigation team, the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office and the California Highway Patrol. During a search and arrest warrant operation announced in September 2020, law enforcement seized and recovered approximately $8 million worth of stolen merchandise from retailers including CVS, Target, and Walgreens, as well as eight $85,000 of cash from the defendant's warehouse, residences, and storage facilities. Additionally, over the course of the investigation, over $1.8 million was seized from the defendant's various bank accounts. These are all big numbers, as you can tell. The defendants, the defendants in this case have been held to account for their crimes, and I can assure you others will be as well. Organized retail theft is making the headlines today, but as this announcement makes clear, at the California Department of Justice, we have always been working on these types of cases. Preventing retail theft is a top priority, and our work will continue. That is why my office is currently investigating and prosecuting incidents of organized retail crime in the Bay Area and throughout California. Our white collar investigation team has partnered with several DEAs over the years. The DOJ is part of the California Highway Patrol's organized retail crime task force that the governor created. And our Division of Criminal Law has cases at all stages of prosecution, from 
arrest to arraignment to sentencing. Today's announcement should serve as a warning shot to anyone thinking about participating in organized retail theft and committing brazen crimes with no regard for the safety of workers, our businesses, and our community. You will be held accountable. You will face consequences. Today's an example of that. In California, we are committed to strengthening our criminal justice system to ensure that it is fair and that it is equitable, but also to ensure that it will make our communities safer. We must and we are doing both. Holding those who break the law to account makes our communities safer. And I'm here to tell you, California and the California DOJ and our law enforcement partners will continue to do just that. Before I introduce our next speaker, I want to say, as Attorney General, I'm committed to collaboration. And I'd like to affirm that commitment today. It's on full display with the incredible group of law enforcement partners that work together uh, to get the result today that we're announcing. This case is an important example of what can be accomplished when law enforcement agencies partner together to address crimes, serious crimes, including organized retail theft. It takes all of us working together to keep our community safe, and I want to thank our partners in this case, including the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office, the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office, the California Highway Patrol. Proud to partner with all of them to keep Californians safe and to achieve the important result we got today.